Welcome campers to night two of the Tag Camp Grand Prix, where one of these remaining teams will be declared the winner of the two out of three falls final match and head back to their cabins as the inaugural campeones of the Campeonatos de Ranas. I'm the maestro Anderson Scott here to recap night one and set the stage for the quarterfinals after an exciting first night of action. But before we dive in, I want to remind everyone that Camp Leapfrog will be heading out on our first field trip to the H2O Center in Williamstown, New Jersey for Abby Jane's 21st birthday extravaganza on Sunday, August 8th. The party starts at 12.30 p.m. and all are welcome, so make sure your name is on the guest list by grabbing your tickets now at CampLeapFrog.com backslash shop. Now looking at the quarterfinals, we see the outfielders taking on the team of Devantes and Jet Jigori. We also saw the Colony, who was victorious in the wildcard bracket matchup. They're going to face off against the Goons with their newfound leader, Darius Carter. We also have scheduled the team of Rithiculous to face off with Crummles and Defarge, but we're hoping to get a medical update on Ron Voyage after he suffered injuries at the hands of that brutal attack from Tyrant in their first round matchup. Then, due to the matchups between the Shinobi, Shadow Squad, and Yokai going to a time limit draw, and the first friends versus Blank and Rembrandt going to a no contest, there is an opening in the quarterfinals that really kind of messes up this bracket. So Commissioner Kim Chi has decided in order to fix that, he signed three new teams to compete in what he calls the opening scramble, with the winner advancing to the semifinals. His explanation for making it a three-way dance was that all other teams had to beat two teams to reach the semis, so it's only fair that these new tag pairings must also beat two tag teams in order to advance in the tournament. The teams looking to punch their ticket to the semifinals are the teams of Nolo Kitano and the Whisper, Athron Amada and Common MK, and the debuting team of Razor Wing and Mach 10, the Air Show. Get your marshmallows ready, campers, because these matchups are going to be bringing the heat and are about to set the campground on fire. Well, not literally, I hope, because I need this job. But let's go to the ring and kick off the action of night two. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We're back once again. Anthony Blackwell joined by Mr. James. How you doing, bud? I'm doing great today. And seeing all these competitors in the ring gets me excited. I don't know what to expect, but right now I am looking at Nolo Katana and the Whisper. I have to say, Anthony, a man that pulls out a sword is dangerous. What do you say about a man that looks like that and pulls out a yo-yo? Yeah, it's a it's an interesting dynamic. But those two guys had a crazy match uh, recently here at camp, and they, they they built a bond with each other where they're going to try out some tag teams, see if they can how they do in this uh, uh, scramble qualifying match. Oh, you know, you work better together than against each other. Admiring each other's jackets. Oh, both men respecting the drip. There it is. Oh, respectable bow as well. Beautiful. Quick kick by Nolo Catano, blocks. Oh, beautiful sweep. Both men are invading each other back and forth. Beautiful knee by, by Athlon. No tag there. Nolo fighting back. Irish whip by Common. Nolo Catano holds him tightly, slips off the ropes. Nolo Catano holds him. Victory roll by, oh, by Common. 
beautiful kick out. Nola's on a, on a different level here. He's been really killing it lately. He's doing a great job. He's really up in his game. Now we're going to see him in a different atmosphere with this tag team. Oh, beautiful spin out into a splash by Athlon. All right, one out, one in. Here we go. Oh, Mach 10 on top rope. Oh, vicious drop kick. Oh, he seems to get all of it right there. Mach 10 moving at high speed. Yeah, now this team here, a long history tag team, uh, have, have held title gold before. So uh, coming back after a long, a long break, and here they are, you know, getting back together, getting the band back together and hitting the road, you know? Oh, but you know what they say, these men look like they still have a lot left to tank. Oh, a boy 609, but catches in the Huracurana. Oh, beautiful, and a lion saw followed by Razor Wing. Razor Wing going for the cover once, Nola Katana breaks up the pin. Katana is swift and fast. Vicious strikes. He just knows how to throw those combinations in. And fighter, Nola Katana sets up, beautiful head scissors. Here comes Whisper. Ooh, running knee by Whisper, double knee by Nolo Pitano. Nolo Pitano sends off Razor Wing into a leg Larry by the Whisper, spinning out. Goes for the cover. One, two, oh! Auto with the breakup. I'm very impressed by Nolo and Whisper here with this tag team. Definitely been putting some time in. They look like they're veterans already. These men both fought each other, know each other's strengths, and hide each other's weaknesses together. Absolutely, they're very equally matched up. Oh, here he comes, with the big drop kick to the outside, clearing house. Oh, but now he's a two-on-one situation here. Oh, oh super kick, oh, super kick. Mock Tanner raising wing, the flyest show on earth, all about to take flight. Will we see it? Fly. Oh, beautiful outside he died. Now, as someone who's been handing the, 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 the leapfrog crowd got to see you in action here, and you're handing out gold stars and really bringing an Isaac out of his shell, how do you how do you rank that? Does that is that does that qualify as a gold star? That qualifies as a gold star. Let me tell you why, Anthony, real quick. Because anybody that pushes up to itself to the maximum limit, anybody that tries rather than just give up, deserves a golden star. Absolutely. All right, uh, uh, the the flyest. Fly champs here are gonna figure it out. Ducks line, whisper with a running high knee. Oh, high knee on Razor Wing. Super kick oh. by Mach 10. Razor Wing stalking his opponent. Whisper dazed. No Kotano spins around. Could he be setting up for the trigram rotation? Razor Wing off the back. Hey, whoa. Sets up a power bump. Power bump on top of Mach 10. That's gotta be it. They gotta go for the cover here. The air show came crashing down hard. Yeah. Going for the cover, pulling into the middle. Common MK entering the ring. Whisper sends him off the ropes. Satellite DDT. Athlete in the ring. Grabs the local title. Throws him off. Oh. Took too long on the top there. It's hard. There's so much action going. It's hard to see everything. <laughs> they're, they're all over the place. Common stuff is fine. Oh. Spin out slam. Beautiful, beautiful. Whisper oh. with a quick breakup. These men are at it. One man wants a win at this tonight. A lot of the top cut off by Nola. They're fighting here. Mac Tan comes in to help his part partner, throwing some huge elbows to Whisper. Whisper with the reversal. Mac Tan with a beautiful moonsault. Whisper catches him. He goes down. Go to cover. Two, kicks out. Amada still on top rope. Nolo Katano stunned. Both guys exhausted here already, taking big shots at each other. Amada sets up, Razor Wing. What can be going for? Oh, beautiful Falcon Owl on Razor Wing. Kind of ironic. Goes on top rope, kicks Nolo Katano. Amada sets up. What's he looking for here? Nolo Katano, win up! Beautiful! Amada on the top rope! What? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Nolo Katano sets up. What can Razor Wing be for? Black Slide Driver! That's got it. Oh. But wait, Mach 10 on top rope. This, this is where this tag team has all this camaraderie. They've been doing this a long time. Hits him with that move. Set him up as well. Oh! 50. Beautiful 50 by Mach 10. Whisper! Oh. Oh, I thought Whisper broke it up, but it was not close enough. Quick enough to match the speed of the air show.
order to help Nolo Kotano. Yeah, the air show comes back like they've never missed a beat, and, and they're gonna advance here to the quarterfinals. If it were up to me, I'll give all these men golden stars, but tonight, only two I have available on me, and it goes to Mach 10 and Razor Wing. Yeah, veterans to the game, but I'll tell you what, this, some of these new teams that we're seeing forming here in Leapfrog are, are looking like they're veterans themselves. Hey, as a new camper, you always want to be top of your class. We're going to turn it over here to the side and get our little interview. Here you are. Yes. <laughs> What's up, Scott? Scott Holiday, happy to be joined again by the Air Show. An impressive debut here. What impact are you trying to make here at Camp Lee Frog? Listen, Scott, for the past 16 months, Razor and I have been sitting on the bench, on the sidelines, watching everybody else have fun. But when the Tag Gift Camp Grand Prix was announced, we decided it was time to fly and time to have some fun. Tell them, Razor. Absolutely. Like Mark said, we've been sitting on the sidelines for 16 flipping months. They don't call us the flyest team on the planet yeah. for no good reason. Leapfrog? Excuse me. <laughs> Well, if it isn't the bird and the bitch. Oh, hey, easy, 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 easy. Relax, all right. Watch y'all come see the real team at work. Come see the real team at work. We're going to cut these two bozos. You better watch where I'm going. I know we'll cut y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Really?